What is your furry costume? Like, what, what character or animal would you say you are? This girl, her name is Flair. This species is one of my own. They're basically big cats with horns. That's really all they are. So what do furries do, for folks who don't know? Um, so there's actually a lot of things we do. A lot of people like to look at the dark side of the fandom. Like, it's... They look at the fetishes, the, the sexualization, all of that. But that's, what, what is this? What, is, what are you talking about? Um, a lot of people think that furries are all about doing the nasty in the suits, which is a big no in the community. Oh, really? Yeah. We, for the most part, absolutely despise that accusation because we pay a lot of good money for these costumes and we don't want to get them ruined by any of that. <laughs> so, Man juice and woman juice. and We don't need none of that. That's, that's <laughs> nasty. So you are a furry costume designer? Yes, I am. I, I run my own little business. Oh, very nice. And you're from where? Oregon. What, what part? Uh, Portland. Uh, I don't see a lot of furries in San Diego. Is it because of the weather, you think? I think the heat kind of scares them off. Um, if my suit wasn't prepped to be able to handle heat and I wasn't experienced with this, I wouldn't be suiting. Because uh, the way mine's designed, the padding is all hollow to allow for airflow. Ah. Um, not to mention her head. Uh, my friend made this one. Her head has four points of ventilation. The mouth, eyes the nose and the ears have vents hidden in them. A lot of things that furries do that people don't acknowledge is the fact that at furry communities especially, at the um, conventions, they will raise a couple thousand dollars every single uh, convention just to give to charity, give to children's hospitals. Uh, oftentimes suitors uh, will go to children's hospitals just to make appearances and make the kids smile. Uh, I'm hopeful to be part of that soon. So really all furry is is just a fan of anthropomorphic characters. And then of course we have our fursonas, if you will, which is our just our representation in the character. Fursona, that's a great pun. It's it's just it's basically just a persona that you would create for any other maybe Marvel universe. You have a persona for that. Sure, sure. It's basically just that, but a walking talking fuzzball. That's all it is.